We proposed this topic because last year's explosion of discoveries in the chromatin field, particularly as they relate to the 3D genome structure and long-range gene regulation. And these are, of course, absolutely crucial for the developmental process and uh, understanding development. On the other hand, people also started realizing that many chromatin mediated processes best reveal themselves in the context of development. So we thought this will, this will be the, the right time to bring a group of people together that, that are interested both in, in, in chromatin and in development and are using some of those new technologies to really start talking about the next steps for, for the field and, and also discuss some of the recent emergent um, findings and, and some controversies in the field as well. A chromatin view of a developmental question has obviously been the um, major topic. Um, I think it's been great to go from different technologies to different model systems. And um, the unifying um, theme has been how cell fates can or cannot be dictated through chromatin regulation. I thoroughly enjoy the entire workshop. Everything was good for me. Um, the balance between the talk the, the variety of disciplines, they were diverse, but, but still having a small overlap so people can understand each other, the way it is organized, the way that everyone is speaking at the same time, I found it brilliant. What I've, I think I've enjoyed the most about um, this meeting is the small group dynamic. So there's of course lots of great um, talks that we go to, but there's lots of time outside of that to sit down with people and really discuss ideas, and, and that's something you don't get at these bigger meetings where there's too many people there. The thing that I found most useful about this particular workshop was that it brought together people across many different disciplines. Um, so it, it stimulated quite a bit of um, great controversial discussion to have physicists, imaging people, chromatin experts, engineers all in the same room debating the meaning of um, specific types of data. I've enjoyed the most uh, the debate session. I think this was the uh, kind of the highlight of the of the workshop because it really allowed to discuss ideas that we don't usually get to discuss in the context of publications. I've really enjoyed the interaction with everybody here. It's a really closed meeting where you can have really good, long, in-depth conversations and it's in a fantastic, beautiful environment. I really enjoy and appreciate the senior investigators, they're, they're generously sharing their time to talk to about different aspects about their research. I think the one thing that I'll take away from this conference is really how a scientific conference should be organized, that we should really maximize the opportunities for scientists to talk to each other in, in a kind of free-flowing and unstructured manner, following you know, exciting talks and exciting debates so you have some uh, lubricant, social lubricant, to uh, have some more heated and uh, in-depth and engaged discussions in this free flowing time. One thing that I will take away would be um, a lot of networking, honestly. I, I feel that I have met people here that I will end up collaborating with within the next 10 years. <laughs> the one major thing I think I'll take away from, from the meeting that uh, I perhaps didn't appreciate coming here is that there's two sort of distinct fields here. There's development and there's chromosome biology and I, and I hadn't quite realized how, how close together these fields were now coming and it's, it's ideas cross sort of cross-pollinating at this meeting that's I think going to be important for solving some of the, the sort of key problems that we've been thinking about here over the last couple of days. I think the thing I will take away with me is energy. I really got a lot of energy from a lot of young group leaders which I didn't know before. And I will also take with me the conviction that developmental biology is in good hands and has a great future. Thank you.